Pretty King 79 here and this is a review of this guy G1 Six Shot Wow, he is an awesome, awesome figure um, Yeah, um, if you guys have been following my channel for a little while you'll know um, that I've been doing the Target 2011 uh, thing um, that Damu Hussies um, basically set up um, and they're asking you to name three figures that you've been after for some time and to um, to go out and get them really um, and uh, this was one of mine and it is so good to have this guy um, Six Shot's awesome for so many reasons not just the fact that he is a six changer um, not just the fact that all his alt modes with the exception of maybe one are, are really really good the fact that he's a pretty really good character uh, I don't really go into characters too much in my reviews um, but he is obviously an awesome character particularly if you're familiar with the IDW stuff um, he is uh, pretty much a destroyer of planets so you know you can't go much wrong with that um, but the main reason that I'm <coughs> really excited to get hold of this guy was just the fact that he is one of those rarities for me he's a G1 figure who I've never actually laid hands on before um, most of the figures that I've bought and reviewed in recent times have been figures that I've had as a kid uh, and bought again you know years later <laughs> through the uh, the eyes of nostalgia um, or they're ones that I've friends have had when I was a kid or ones that I've you know ones that I've sort of seen um, and, and, and picked up before but Six Shot is <coughs> Six Shot is unique in that sense that he is one I've not um, in the same way that Predator King, when I got Predator King I'd never laid hands on a Predator King before um, and uh, if I ever get hold of a Fort Max I've, you know, I've never laid hands on one of them so it, it's very cool to, to get hold of him um, but anyway enough gushing about slip, six, uh, <laughs> six Shot um, we'll go ahead and uh, and do the review. Um, I'll do the normal uh, price and bits and pieces and things to watch out for at the end. So anyway, so robot mode um, is a big ass figure. Um, he is bigger than an ultra class figure um, if you're using the modern sort of standards. Um, if you're using G1 standards, he's well, a blaster comes up to about here on him. So if you know how big blaster is. Um, but he, he's big. <laughs> he's definitely big. He'd be certainly the leader class if he was um, a modern figure. As you can see, you know, he's just about getting to the screen <laughs> screenshot. Um, robot mode, articulation wise, you've got obviously the arms. Um, there is, seems to be some variation on how you display them in robot mode. Some people have them like that, and that's more sort of au okay with the. Um, with how he's displayed in the uh, IDW comics but if you haven't like that you obviously can't move the arms very much so most of the time you're going to see him like that and you'll see the wings in various positions some people will display it like that you can have wings down the back if you want out of the way completely but um, you know that's just some how people want it so um, he is kind of he's quite complex for a generation well he's very complex for a generation one um, figure. Um, although he doesn't have the articulation, um, he certainly you know makes up for the complex complexity. He is sort of a uh, a Rubik's cube of a transformer, I would say. Um, we'll go ahead and turn him into his first alt mode, um, which is basically his space gun mode. Uh, which is kind of like this. Yeah, there is, um, as I say, there's quite a lot of different <laughs> things to, to bear in mind with this guy when you, uh, when you are transforming him. Um, as I say, you, you, there's no, there's no harm in uh, <laughs> having to refer to the instructions with this guy, even though he's a G1 figure. Um, there's a lot going on with him. Um, this is basically the gun mode. Okay, there's two guns that he has in robot mode. He does actually use them in all his alt modes, um, except for one, which I will show you. 
Um, first thing to know, these can become quite loose, as you can see on this one, this is kind of loose, so it can be fixed easily by just screwing inside there. Well, I haven't got around to doing that yet, but I will do. Um, and that is basically his gun mode. Okay, so yeah, it's um, you know, these sort of gun modes are always um, always a little bit hit and miss. Um, he's more from the uh, the Galvatron school of um, of guns than say Megatron. He's obviously not very realistic as a space gun. Um, so what you're going to do at the end of the day? Um, but uh, yeah, he's um, it's a nice nice mode. Let's put him down for two seconds. Actually, that actually has to go and move the uh, wheels out of the way like that. This is <laughs> this is the thing that is actually um, I would say, whoops, the fit the the fiddliest thing or the hardest thing to remember is the position of these wheels and the modes that he has. Um, but that, oops, there we go. And just pull those back to hide the the fists, obviously, which I forgot to do. Um, so yeah, there we go. That's gun mode. Um, you see that? It's big. You know, as you can see, you know, in an adult hand, it's a it's a good sized gun. In a kid's hand, um, it would have been massive. Um, so yeah, it's a shame this guy didn't come out in the UK um, back in the 80s because I would have love to have had him but hey I've got him now so I can't complain okay so we'll go ahead and we'll turn him into jet mode which is pretty easy to do from this mode fairly straightforward you can see the two the legs here they do actually move slightly independently um, why they do that don't know because there's not really much uh, much sort of scope for movement when they're in robot mode so um, but just bear that in mind it's nothing to worry about if, it does, if they do move um, so yeah that's like that and let's come up and then we bring the wings down, just pop them in half. There we go. Let's get rid of the gun trigger. And as I say, the gun's going there again, being utilised in another mode. Uh, that's space sh shuttle mode. Looks a little bit like a boat, I think, at the front. <laughs> um, I actually think this is probably probably his best alt mode. Um, it just looks more complete. Obviously, you've got the bits off the back, these two bits here, but it's not a, doesn't detract from it too badly. I think it looks really, really nice. That's probably his best alt mode. But as I say, there's only one mode which I think is a little bit off, and it's certainly not this one. And it's not the gun either. I think the gun's pretty cool as well. Um, all right, and the next one is. Armoured, well, the sort of truck, car mode. So we're going to flip him over, and that's going to be the this bit's going to be the front of the car. And um, this is a little bit fiddlier. You need to move these bits round and pull this bit forward. One thing we'll say about this for you is he's very, very durable you're very unlikely to find a broken six shot on the secondary market because he is a chunky mofo <laughs> let's move this guy forward he's really well designed really durable um, so you shouldn't have any problems in getting one in decent condition um, just you know, make sure the chrome is okay and uh, can't really go wrong. Uh, those guns go on top there. Okay. That's the uh, sort of car mode. Um, 
yeah, this one's okay as well. Um, it's quite reliant on the sticker quality. Obviously, the windshield on this one's quite reasonably faded. Um, I think some people don't like this mode, but I don't mind it at all. I think it's 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 fine. It serves its purpose, um, particularly from the these sort of angles. If you look down on it, when you've got the uh, you see the wings visible, but uh, I think uh, I think it's a cool mode. Um, next up, we have got the tank mode. Okay, which basically <coughs> turning this thing around, and this gets folded up here. That's not the cockpit of the tank. And what we're going to do now is bring these back again. Okay, and obviously you've got the tank treads on the other side of the wheels, so they are going to be in place. And I'll say now, this is, for me, the weakest mode. But we'll crack this one. So you can see how durable and, and tough he is. I'm, it's quite an effort to, to move it around. You know, he's not going to get broken easily. Okay. And then we're going to open this bit up at the back. Oh, I need to move these out of the way first. <laughs> See, it's fiddly. <laughs> okay. The reason why I don't like it isn't just because it's a bit of a pain <laughs> to do. Um, okay, it's going so well. Gosh. Okay, let's uh, There we go. See, you've really got to push that. Doesn't feel overly uh, safe to do so, but. Uh, there we go. We're basically I'm just trying to get these guns out, really. Okay. There we go. Right. We're going to get the guns out. And then we're going to close that up like that. Okay. And these guns go like so. Over there. There we go. Okay. Anyway. There it is, tank mode. Um, it's just a bit of a mishmash mode, really. Um, I don't know if that's, that's transformed correctly. It just doesn't seem to look right to me. Um, the back bit may be slightly off. Uh, I'm sure someone can correct me if that's wrong, but again, it just doesn't look... It just looks a bit of a mess, really. So that's probably the weakest, one, weakest mode. But we won't dwell on it. We will go ahead and we'll transform him into his final mode, which... I think some people have a little bit of problem with, but I think it's quite cool. Um, and that is, of course, the Panther Wolf mode, rather, I should say, according to the instructions. Um, I'm not looking at instructions, by the way, whilst I'm doing this, I will show you that. <laughs> that would be lame. Um, sorry, put it back on camera. Um, this cockpit is going to go under there like that. Okay. And uh, I'm spinning these round. Okay, and just, um, just open this up here and reveal his head. Um, this is obviously the, oops, the wolf mode. Yeah. There we go. And they just sort of sit back like that. Um, you can open his mouth up like that if you want to. Um, but uh, yeah, which is pretty cool. Um, there is also a um, sort of fan mode. Um, Seventh mode, where you can have like a, a winged, a winged wolf, flying wolf, if you wanted to. I mean, you could put the guns on there if you wanted to. I think to stop you doing that. Um, but the official mode is just uh, like so. And there we go. That 
that is the uh, there's the wolf mode. So there you go. That's that's all uh, all six modes. Um, as I said, uh, definitely um, one of the figures I've been looking forward to getting for a long, long time. Um, when this guy came out, he actually came with a sealed instruction booklet uh, suggesting that you complete the ultimate Transformers challenge by trying to transform into all six modes without looking at the instructions. That would have been quite cool at the time, but uh, say, it never came out in the UK, so um, not something I could have uh, tried out myself when I was a, I was a nipper. But yeah, definitely worth picking up. Um, he is pricey though, as, a, as I kind of alluded to earlier. Um, he was reissued in 2004, and the reissue goes for at least a hundred pound. Um, usually they'll be in in a box for that price, um, but maybe maybe not. Um, this guy's an original one from '87, and you're looking at at least a hundred, if not more, for him. Um, but thankfully, I got him for quite a lot less than that, so I'm very happy. <laughs> But anyway, that was a rather long review. As I say, I've got quite a few modes to go through, but I hope it wasn't too dull for you. I hope you enjoyed it, and I shall see you guys again real soon. Bye for now.